Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of your FM Wine Guide. I'm Jean and today I'm on location at a special new place in Moorhead called the Spice Grill. It's a restaurant specializing in African and Caribbean cuisine, which means a little bit spicier food. Uh, it's located behind the Moorhead Center Mall, so check it out. Um, I've been getting interested in studying a little bit more about your palate and how your palate progresses as you grow as a wine drinker and the different kinds of flavor profiles people like. Um, and a lot of people, and almost everybody, starts with sweet wines. And I don't like to look down on sweet wines because we all have to start somewhere and uh, there are a lot of really quality fun to drink sweet wines on there and there's definitely a place for them. For example, with spicy food, it's a great idea to have a sweeter wine. I'd like to do a series in the next few weeks on the rest of the wheel of how your palate develops going from sweet wines into the next step. So stay tuned next week to talk about what's the next step after sweet wines. And the interesting thing about the wheel of palate development is after you go through all the um, sophisticated, difficult to drink wines, you eventually come back around to liking sweet in the end. So here's a fun one that you can get at a couple liquor stores in town and you can actually get a glass of it here at the Spice Grill. It's called Villa M. Rosso. This is an Italian wine called uh, Brocchetto is the grape. Now I say I don't like to talk down about sweet wines, but what I will always talk down about is uh, low quality, poorly made bad wines. You will always hear me diss those and show you no respect for drinking those things. But sweet wines can be made well and delicious and there's absolutely a place for them. So this is the Villa M. Brachetto da Cui. It's got a little bit of fizzy bubbles to it. Um, nice, very pretty, bright, bright red ruby color and you serve it cold. Uh, this costs at a liquor store about $20. So this is definitely not the cheapest sweet wine available. It's a little more quality and I would absolutely drink this um, with spicy foods or on a hot day. Um, actually, the fun thing about this wine is it's only about 5% alcohol. So if you were to take this out to the lake and sip it all day long, you could probably polish off a bottle or two uh, by yourself. It'd be super refreshing and delicious. So here it is, sweet Italian Villa M. Rosso Brocchetto. Really puckery and tasty and delicious, full of strawberry roses, a little bit of chocolate, and it's got this really bright, refreshing, cooling effervescence to it. Um, I've tasted some other sweet reds and they kind of hang on your palate, really syrupy, like some of those cheaper effervescent reds, and I think you might as well just keep drinking a cherry Coke and put some rum in it. But this really tastes like wine, even though it's light and sweet and refreshing and fruity. Uh, the only sugar in this wine is the sugar that grew in the grape when it grew on the vine. There's no added sugar or anything to this. So it's a really quality example of fine winemaking uh, in a sweeter style. 